Welcome Fronies. So today I want to show you that army toys are more than just slaves that pick up your items. For the people that are new to the game, you see that little dancing penguin right here? This is basically an army toy and it follows me around and as I said, it does pick up my items. But it can do way more than this. Almost died. So if we're going into the main menu and we're selecting army toy, we will first see an overview of all the army toys that exist. Important to note is that there is no difference between army toys that you can gain free to play and army toys that you are cashing for. They all have the same stats, so 6% cooldown, 1 world, 3 leaf consumption. So let me show you, this is one of the ones that um, you have to purchase with real money, for example, it has the same stats. And what this army toy does, it is healing you. So every six seconds, the army toy is consuming one world tree leaf to heal you. And this is done automatically. Now we are like, what? Okay, 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 okay. That's going, going really well, the video, let's go. If we're talking about the healing, you will see here in the bottom, you're having the world leaf. You just saw how he healed me. He is popping it up if we're waiting. Now the cooldown is off. Boom, he heals again. This is how you can get additional sustain. Important to note here is that if you're going into the settings and you scroll all the way down in the gameplay and character tab, you will find the Amitoy recovery right here. And this one should say that in PvP combat, you will always use it. So basically, once you are like getting a little bit of health taken away, you will instantly pop your army toy. For the army toy recovery, when it's actually starting out of PvP, like in a PvE scenario, I would put it at uh, 90%. This was working for me by far the best. Sorry to interrupt, but short self-promotion is needed. Currently, 91.2% of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel. So let's make a deal. If you learn something new in this video, you have to subscribe. Then besides healing, you also need to know how to actually get those Emmy toys, how to farm them. There's some that are bound to the main quest that everyone gets. There's lots of them bound to side quests, but there's also an easy way on how to check how to get them. There's like an eye here, you can press it and then you're getting this overview and this will show you exactly how to get it. And here you are seeing a main factor in how to get them is the mystic portal and to open mystic portals you will have to go to a contract coin merchant do your contract and buy those mystic keys here they have a limit of five that you can buy every day and i highly recommend you buying those five keys every day and then you can go out and open the mystic globes and have chance to obtain army toys then the next thing about army toys that you need to know is that it is a kind of a collectible the game actually wants you to collect all of them you, of course you can use what you like the most to be visible outside but in your collection you want to have all of them and the reason for that here is the pal synergy right here whenever you are collecting army toys you can get troops of them ready so they always have like a theme right and all if you have all the forest runs ready you're getting additional bonuses important to note here is like that the exp bonus for example is not uh that relevant i would say like stuff that's like really good here is like item chance and solon bonus so this is what i would go for first then if you have the choice then a mastery bonus and then as a last one i would go for the exp bonus there's also the amount effect this one is calculating the total amount of army toys that you are owning you will see on the bottom right here and based on that you will gain additional effects as well the best stat that you can get here is actually the abyssal contract token efficiency you're seeing right here on the top we're having the abyssal contract tokens so when we are going into open world dungeons we are killing monsters we are getting additional loot every monster that we are killing is deducting tokens let's say one monster in theory would deduct 100 we are stacking 10 percent of that it would only deduct 90 of those points so this stat itself here will make you gain more gold so it's basically a different way to say it's a solon bonus, but additionally, it will also get you 
more item drops and the item drops that you're getting in open world pvp is extremely valuable what's also valuable is today's sponsor rogue energy because we all know i have a couple of kilos too much and rogue energy is an energy drink with only five calories per serving and if you're going for the hydration one it's even at zero calories so it's my energy of choice you can check it out in the link in the description and if you use code pony you will even get 10 percent off your next order the next thing that army toys can do is they got a housing system so if you're seeing your army toy in the bottom and you're clicking it you will port to your new house and in this house right here you will see the Amitoy Expedition map. If you're selecting the map, you will see that um, you're having two options. This is map number one, this is map number two. You can send those Amitoys now on expeditions to get rewards. And the rewards range from uh, um, Abyssal Contract tokens to like crafting material to actually stuff that you need um, to create food the most valuable one you can actually get upgrade materials out of here so how to do the expedition the most efficient way every army toy has a area as a select so for example we are seeing here this penguin has this like rocky uh, water area and those one here have a forest bonus so if i would go to carmine forest and i put my forest guys in here you see, instead of, um, let me deselect them. If I put this one in, I get 10, yeah? If I put the forest one in, I get 11. So if you're matching the element in the map with your army toy, you're getting additional rewards. If you are leveling up your um, expedition to go to the max, that is level 20, then um, I would recommend always go and farm the highest area that just unlocked. And if you are getting more army toys, you will obviously use the army toys that are getting a bonus there. So those are the army toys that I'm gonna send here. The ones that you are using, you cannot send. So I'm actually missing one and I could get more experience here, but I don't have that many. Then you can choose uh, the um, hours. It does not matter which hour you choose. So the the value of, of what you're getting is more or less the same. But um, I would always make sure that you're using it so you can refresh it. So for example, it's like two hours, right? Before you go to sleep, don't set it to eight hours. Get a two hour one. Before you go to sleep, set it to eight hours. So in the morning, you can do it again. Try to get as much efficiency out of this as possible. Because as soon as you hit level 20, you can farm those upgrade materials here really reliably. And the crazy part is, this is also an option to farm an arc boss weapon. Because you can get Queen Belandir's Carpace fragments from the, those runs. So I highly recommend keeping those runs up non-stop without any cooldown. Yeah guys, that was it with the video. If you still have any more questions about the army toys or anything else in the game, just leave a comment. As always, I will answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers guys. Bye.